Tonight it gives me great pleasure to introduce our speaker, who also happens to be a member of the Boston Athenaeum and is an alum of speakers here who has spoken to us before a few, number, a few years ago, and that is Judith Tankard. Ms. Tankard is an acknowledged and widely published authority on the history of gardens. She teaches in the Landscape Institute at Harvard University and is the founding editor of the Journal of the New England Garden Historical Society. Among her books, almost all of which are available here in the Athenaeum Circulating Collection, are two books on Gertrude Jekyll, The Gardens of Ellen Biddle Shipman, and as co-author, A Place of Beauty, Artists and Gardens of the Cornish Colony. And as luck would have it, uh, Ms. Tankard also has an article in the most recent issue of the Apollo magazine, the entire issue being devoted to the arts and crafts movement. T tonight, however, we are here to celebrate the publication of Ms. Tankard's latest book, which is the topic of tonight's lecture, and copies will be available after the lecture for purchase and signing by the author, Gardens of the Arts and Crafts Movement, Reality and Imagination. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Judith Tankard. Thank you. Well, if we could have the lights. Well, thank you very much for that uh, nice introduction. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Great. Um, it is a pleasure to return to the Athenaeum uh, to talk about my new book. But I thought uh, before discussing some of the garden design um, ideas,